Mic check, mic check, mic check. One, two, one, two, yo. Hi, Token. Now, if this is your first time here, if this is your first time watching me react to Token's high artist name dot 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 ellipses series, then go check out the other ones that I did. I've done every single one so far, and I'm, I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge fan of this concept and idea. It's a really good way to get his music out there in front of different people who like different artists, but maybe don't know who Token is, or just to show that, yo, it don't matter what type of instrumental I go on. I could go on Billy, I can go on J. Cole, I can go on Tyler, like we out here doing it all. It's fire, such a good idea, easy way to go viral, especially when you have the talent that Token has. But that's it, follow your boy Instagram, Twitter, Discord, all of those things. Most importantly, hit up the Twitch, it's the second link in the description because I am starting to do live reactions maybe like once a week or live album reviews on Twitch. I don't do it on YouTube because YouTube's copyright system is extremely strong, so sometimes it might not allow for it, but I'm gonna do it on Twitch, and if you miss it, then, then I'll upload the VOD onto YouTube. So go over there. Check it out, it's a vibe, you can react live with me, it's a whole ass thing. But other than that, we got High Tyler the Creator. Let's get it. Come on. Nah, nah, Come on. This, time, this time I got some shit to say. They call me whack soon as I start, call me weird if it ain't bars, call me gay if I- Bruh, off. Boy, that instrumental goes crazy. I'm a fucking walking paradox. No, I'm not a threesomes with a fucking triceratops. They call me whack soon as I start. Call me weird if it ain't bars. Call me gay if I put on some pink and stop trying to be hard. Say they mm. want the real rap like Big and Pac put them in charge. But I could take that rap guy flow out my ass and they'd apply without hearing a single word. word. I mean, Bruh. He is gonna. He started by saying he gonna say some shit. That's what I needed because the high J Cole and the high Billy. It was just like you know, it's just him showing off his technical ability with the pen to write bars and construct wordplay and construct rhyme schemes and show off different show off different technical abilities behind rap. But the boy was getting hate, and the biggest hate that anything that anyone could ever say about Token is is why do white rappers have to feel the need that they have to spit fast like this? That that's automatically gonna get like a fire under you to be like, all right, well, you want you wanted me to switch it up. I'm switching it up now. Let's see what you have to say after this. Like anything that I do is never gonna be good enough. If I don't put bars in there, then I'm whack. If I put bars in there, then I'm corny for putting bars in there. You know, like what what's the deal? Plot without hearing a single word, word, hopping to whip it, swerve, swerve. Hey. They wanna hear I'm broke, but I made twenty K off of the shirt, shirt. Hey. That was just thirty minutes, but Rick Hey, that, that's a bar because he's he he put Put on his on his IG story that someone did the math at how much money he made just from the 400 shirts that he was selling and they sold out in 30 minutes it was it's easy to say that he made twenty thousand dollars without knowing that he had to buy the shirts had to pay for the screen printing has to pay for shipping the you know there, there's cost of goods sold but he was technically twenty dollars of revenue not necessarily profit in 30 minutes. But I made 20K off of the shirt, shirt. That was just 30 minutes, but Rich spitting is whack, of course. They want to hear them broke bars, because no one's ever did that before. Please don't talk about cash no more. Bending back backs on tour. Make me happy when they act like I'm bringing back rap, of course. But then they mention rappers yeah. more. Like, man, I love you. Mac, of course. MGKM. And where the fuck is Mac Lamore? Man, you make... Mm, bruh. <laughs> I say this about all white rappers, Eminem done fucked them. Or not even Eminem, but the demographic that listens to like, there, there's a certain demographic within white, or within rap, where that demographic is only gonna listen to white rappers. So they're only gonna listen to Macklemore, they're only gonna listen to MGK, they're only gonna listen to Eminem, they're only gonna listen to Token. Why are you putting, why are you putting me in this category when I'm good if not better than? And the only reason literally is because his skin complexion. But it's true when he says like every, no but like everybody's bored of the everybody's bored of the rich like the rich rap. It's hypocritical to say that whack like rap, rap rich rap is whack. Go and spit some spit some broke bars, but that's that's just as unoriginal as rich bars, you know? Where the fuck is Mac Lamar? Man, you make my earthquake. They love the corny hey. wordplay. They call me sus cause I look up to Lil Nas X more than Nas and that's pure hate. My dad thought I was gay for years until he saw my girl and it ironic I'm the one who turned her straight. Bruh, this is fire that he said, let I make my earthquake. And like, as soon as he says it, the beat transitions from, from, uh, what the fuck is the name of that song? Oh, Yonkers. The beat transitions from Yonkers into earthquake as soon as he says earthquake. 
And bruh, I can't like I'll never get over people who say that people in Tolkien's generation, like they need to be they need to be influenced and I and they need to idolize the rappers that that a lot of people see as the greatest of all time. Like Tolkien is a smart enough man to know that, yes, Tupac and Biggie are, are obviously some of the greatest rappers ever. But I don't even know if Tolkien was alive yet when when Biggie and Pac were killed. Like, how are you going to expect like Biggie and Pac and their sound to be influential over someone like Tolkien? Tolkien's, Tolkien's two generations removed from Nas and Biggie. Like, there's no, there's, even Drake said it as far as back as his mixtape. He said, I never cried when Pac died, but I probably will when Hove does. Like, it's the same concept. Of course, Token is going to be more influenced by someone like Lil Nas X over Nas. That's not his generation. That's not that's not what he came up on. It's one thing to be disrespectful and say that Nas and Jay-Z and all these iconic artists are their ass. They're clearly not ass. And that's disrespectful for you as a younger generation to say that, thinking that they think not realizing that they paved the way for you to even exist. But to think that they're going to be influenced by these older rappers, that's just not the way it fucking works. Nas and Jay-Z could be old enough to be Token's grandparents. She might bounce back though, who know? Younger than me, but she always trying to show me new ropes. I'ma need more than a few though. I'm only 3D, pour me some spade. I wish I knew hope. Plus, yeah, I still fuck mm. to 808s like it's still 08. Popping like Tylenol and shining like... See what I'm saying? I still fuck to 808s and heartbreak. And he said, pour me up some spade. Like like Jay-Z is obviously someone who heavily endorses Ace of Spade. But then just, just doing that like old like old Kanye and old Jay-Z, like their relationship that they had. Token's young, but he's he's old enough and mature enough mentally. And he's he's smart enough in the in the history of rap in the history of hip-hop to know that that was like a gold that's a golden time right there still fuck to 808 like it's still 08 popping like tylenol and shining like tyler nails i'm waiting i'm corning i'm in the street say by the bell my neighbor's so far away she don't see when i check the mail my homie a magician he turned a police officer to a little kid on the weekend at the beach bruh he said my neighbor's so far away she can't even she see when i check the mail bruh that's such a crazy flex such such a dope way such a dope clever line i got money like that you know on my homie a magician he turned a police officer to a little kid on the weekend at the beach collecting shells on me i'm doing well my feet a new chanel big sweet a new hotel i treat the groupie well don't need to wipe the tail i leave the bride unveiled i please the clientele let me switch it up problem is a lot of motherfuckers take himself now it's fire that's fire that the beats with like obviously that that instrumental is like a little more it's not the normal type of structure you would expect so he he switched the flow to like match the beat right there he wasn't really saying anything like crazy obviously the main shine right there was the well not necessarily the wordplay but the the rhyme scheme and the uh, and the cadence delivery but it was fire now let me switch it up problem is a lot of motherfuckers take himself a little bit too serious and bro it's not that deep make hey. it as a rapper but you want to play the character and start to feel like it's a nine to five every week put a lot of work make it as a rapper but you actually have to start playing a character because that because these labels they want to promote you as this thing and that thing might not be who you are so instead of it being the instead of you having the passion for rap that got you to the level that you did now you feel like it's a nine to five there's no passion it's just a it's just your job to get a check because the label made you switch up you're playing a character that's hard Make it as a rapper, but you end up playing a character and start to feel like it's a nine to five every week. Put a lot of work and then I beat the odds. So what the fuck I look like being here and not enjoying this shit. So if I want to say fuck the people who are afraid to see me grow, I will. I can afford this shit. A hey. lot of people not giving me a chance. I don't trip. I ain't even start yet. Fuck the catalog. I remember doing a festival with Tyler. When I met him, he ain't know who I was, bro. Thank God. Big ass crib. Three kids living in it. One pay for it, though. He's swimming in it. I'm almost done, dog. I'm about to hit him with it. Never too different, bro. Who got a difference with it? Bitch, bitch, bitch. Back doing a lot. Bruh, super hard. It's dope that he's saying shit on top of the beat as it like as it's just breathing. There's no 808. There's no percussion. So you can understand what he's saying. He said a lot of people not giving me the chance. I ain't tripped because I'm just getting fucking started. You don't have to give me the chance because I'm going to make my own lane and I'm going to and I'm going to give myself the chance. I don't need to rely on you. He said big ass crib, three kids living in it, but only one pay for it, bro. Me because I'm swimming in it. I'm swimming in that money. It's hard. Bro, who got a difference with it? Bitch, 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 and back doing a lot. Most of the homies, they older than me, but look up to me. I got every single one of them if they ever in a bond. Talking 2021 is something heavy on my mind. Tell my to get this gun if I feel envy on my side. Which side? Who knows? This time I do shit big time. My moves is inclined. Drop you know costume is just mine, just me. It's me, it's T. Backpack rap playing a victim. Probably got a Confederate flag back in a pickup. Posting on Facebook. Backpack rap playing the victim. Probably got a Confederate flag in the back of the pickup. Dog. 
but he said my moves is inclined like we only going up we're never stagnant we're never dropping my moves is inclined and then i dropped the mask and dropped the like the costume and it's just me it's just raw token there is there is no there is no facade that i'm putting up everything that you hear on these bars is is straight from the mind of token probably got a confederate flag back at a pickup posting on facebook conspiracy theory lies blaming a loser life on any winner they find mm. blue lives matter with a tramp wife chubby dad say motherfucker that be anti-mumble rap back and like they wrote the rules for black genre still mad about obama chief bruh i don't know maybe it's just me and my disdain for tom mcdonald but I feel like that was talking about Tom McDonald right there. I don't know if there's any I don't know if there's any beef. I don't know if I don't know if Token, I don't even know if it's beef like like actually they're going at each other. It might just be that Token is tired of fucking the shit that he sees from Tom Mac in the same way that I'm tired of that shit, bro. He said blue lives matter, which is obviously a uh, conservative, not conservative, but it's anti, not anti establishment uh, it's counterculture, I guess you could say, to say blue lives matter whenever people are saying black lives matter. He said it'd be the blue lives matter with the chubby dad and the tramp wife, obviously talking about a certain individual statistical category in terms of demographics. It'd be those motherfuckers that are anti mumble rap. I can't even tell you how much I hate. I hate people that say mumble rap exists in 2021. And I hate, this is this is actually the main reason why I don't like Tom McDonald, is that he appeals to a certain demographic that is not into hip hop or black culture. So he's taking rap and using it and appealing to a demographic that says blame the rappers. And that demographic eats that shit up because one, they were already against rap. They were already not fans of rap and the stereotypical things that they think rap is. So here comes Tom McDonald saying, blame the rappers, blame the mumble rappers for your kids doing drugs and, and doped up and create, you know, committing crimes. And they out here acting like they wrote the rules for black genres like rap when they don't even know what rap came from or started as. And they also don't even know why it sounds the way that it does in terms of the genre. They're just culture vulching that. They're they're taking the black, they're taking the black artistry and then they're putting counterculture lyrics inside of it and then retargeting it to the white audience that doesn't fuck with 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 black culture. So I don't even know if he's necessarily talking about Tom McDonald directly, but that's who came to my mind when I when I heard that bar right there. 100 percent Yeah. So I did my little rant about about you know what I thought about the end. I didn't realize that this that the video was ending right after that, but track was fire bruh and we got i think we got an actual single coming up next with sip and token said it himself like he's not gonna do all these high billy high high eminem high high tyler like this is just a marketing ploy i guess not a ploy but it's a marketing it's a marketing tool that he's using to get to get more people on his name before he drops you know an actual single or drops the album and i'm all here for this especially this one right here in particular because this one right here he's actually like not just showing off his techni technical ability with the pen he's actually saying something he's going at criticism or he's going at a certain you know, you know, people talking, people basically, you know, dismissing him. That's what I need from Token. Like if you, if you, if you go and listen to all these high, you know, if he didn't do this, there'd be three tracks where it's just him being braggadocious or showing off the technical ability. But technical rap gets old really quick when there's no substance behind it. And not saying that there wasn't any substance in the other two, but this one is clearly a standout for him saying something directly to people, you know? So I'm super hyped. That was fire. Tyler, the creator's album, by the way, was fire. If you haven't checked it out, call me if you get lost. But that brings us to the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, please consider liking, leaving a comment down below. If you like what you see enough, please consider subscribing. If you want to support the channel directly, monetarily, this is all I only I only do this full time because of Patreon and because of Twitch. So if you want to support with monetary contribution, you could do either and or. It doesn't matter to me. But everybody that contributes on Patreon or on or on Twitch, y'all are really the only reasons why this channel can push forward in the way that it does. So if you're in that position and you get enough content or get enough gain out of my material they consider doing that for me i would greatly appreciate it but that brings us to the end of this video ladies and gentlemen and like i always say at the end i appreciate your time go out there in the world love and care for one another love and care for each other and i'll catch you on the next video peace